Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. For some time now, the topic of Iraq aligning with international standards has been making waves. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has frequently referenced these standards sparking optimism and speculation that the country is on the cusp of joining the global financial community. Many are hopeful that this shift signifies Iraq's readiness to reintegrate into the world economy, which would be a significant leap forward in its post-war recovery and reform process. The continuous signals from the CBI and the Iraqi government suggest that these changes could happen sooner rather than later marking a new chapter in Iraq's economic history. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani has been pivotal in this transformation. Over the past year, he has traveled extensively, visiting numerous countries and their financial institutions, making a strong case for foreign investment in Iraq. His message has been clear, Iraq is open for business. During these diplomatic tours, it is believed that Iraq's currency, the Iraqi dinar, was presented to potential investors and international financial bodies. These efforts lay the groundwork for the dinar's eventual recognition on the international stage, a critical step toward Iraq's re-emergence as a major economic player. The results of these diplomatic missions are already visible in the growing influx of foreign financial infrastructure into Iraq. The establishment of foreign banks, new investment channels, and financial partnerships indicates that Iraq's economy is attracting global interest. This is a clear sign that economic reform is on the horizon, and many believe it is set to accelerate rapidly. In fact, some insiders are describing this phase of economic reform as being on the verge of an explosion, with the potential to transform Iraq's financial landscape even more dramatically than it already has. For many observers, the time has come for Iraq to assume its rightful place in the international community. After years of isolation, conflict, and instability, Iraq is now poised to take its natural position as a critical player in the global economy. This sentiment resonates deeply with those who have followed Iraq's progress, and there is a palpable sense of anticipation as the country edges closer to its international reintegration. The recent return of Prime Minister al-Sudani to Baghdad after his participation in the United Nations General Assembly meetings in New York has only fueled this anticipation. Al-Sudani's attendance at the UN was more than just symbolic it represented a key moment for Iraq on the global stage. His speech at the General Assembly highlighted Iraq's progress, while his sideline meetings with world leaders and global financial players were strategic in advancing Iraq's international agenda. Now that Al-Sudani has completed this high-profile diplomatic engagement, Many believe that the stage is set for Iraq's full international re-emergence. Some insiders speculate that significant developments could occur at any moment, given that al-Sudani has returned home after what some are calling his victory lap on the global stage. He has made it clear to the world that Iraq is restored and ready to operate as a fully functioning member of the international financial system. The results of these efforts could be realized sooner than many expect, and some believe that major announcements could come as early as this weekend. With Iraq's leadership signaling that the country is ready to rejoin the global economy, all eyes are now on Baghdad. At the heart of Iraq's economic future are discussions about economic confidence, consumption, and investment. These are the pillars of any successful economy and Iraq is no exception. However, the current exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar, which stands at 1,310 dinars per US dollar, has raised some doubts about whether Iraq is ready to instill global confidence at this level. Critics point out that Iraq has fluctuated between several exchange rates over the years, ranging from 1,310 to 1,180, 1166, 1182, 
1,460 dinars per US dollar, and none of these rates have yet led to Iraq's full inclusion in the international foreign exchange markets. Iraq's participation in global forex trading is seen as a critical milestone, and until this happens, some remain skeptical about the country's economic outlook. One of the most discussed topics in recent weeks has been the removal of the three zeros from the Iraqi dinar. This initiative, which aims to restructure Iraq's currency and strengthen its value, has been a topic of conversation for years. However, in the past five days, this discussion has intensified, with daily coverage and speculation about the timing and implications of the reform. The reality is that this conversation has been ongoing for months, if not longer. What has changed is the frequency with which it is now being addressed, indicating that the CBI and the government may be preparing to take concrete action. A key piece of information that has emerged recently comes from a reliable source within the CBI. According to this source, the committee responsible for the currency swap has planned to begin the rollout of this project in November. This is a critical development, as it suggests that the long-awaited removal of the zeros from the dinar could be just weeks away. Moreover, the US Treasury remains closely involved in this process, and it will not leave the CBI until the currency reform is fully completed. The presence of the US Treasury underscores the international importance of this initiative and ensures that it will be carried out with the oversight of global financial experts. Even Governor Ali Alalek of the CBI, who has historically been cautious in discussing the removal of the zeros, has now openly started addressing the topic. This shift in rhetoric from the CBI leadership indicates that the currency reform is moving from the realm of speculation to reality. Meanwhile, developments surrounding the hydrocarbon law, HCL, are also gaining momentum. The HCL, which governs the distribution of Iraq's oil revenues between Baghdad and the Kurdish region, has been a major point of contention for years. However, recent reports suggest that progress is being made, with Kurdistan recently depositing nearly 100 billion dinars of its non-oil revenues into Baghdad's treasury. The resolution of the HCL is seen as a critical step toward Iraq's broader economic reforms. Without this agreement in place, the country cannot achieve the level of national unity and stability required for long-term growth. With the HCL now seemingly on the verge of completion, Iraq is taking significant steps toward resolving its internal economic challenges. This progress has been accompanied by the launch of salary financing for government employees, which was rolled out today. This initiative ensures that Iraq's workforce is being paid on time and that the government's financial infrastructure is operating smoothly. These developments, combined with the ongoing currency reform, suggest that Iraq's internal financial mechanisms are strengthening. Given all of these factors, it is no wonder that many are expecting a major announcement from Iraq in the near future. The country is clearly positioning itself for a dramatic economic shift, and it's only a matter of time before these efforts come to fruition. Those who have been closely following Iraq's economic reform process are on high alert, waiting for the news that the country has finally completed its currency restructuring and fully re-entered the global financial system. This moment has been a long time coming, and when it happens, it will mark a historic turning point for Iraq and its people.